Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of A Taste of the Food Life. Thank you so much for joining me as I continue my food tasting journey here on the show. And uh, you can see that once again, I am joined by the wonderful Jen, uh, who I at some point I should probably say that you're my wife. Because you know, people have been watching, they probably know. People who know me know. They right? know. Yeah, they know. She's awesome. You know now. Now you know. Uh, yeah, and today we're gonna taste Chocolate! Chocolate is awesome. We love chocolate. Uh, but it's not just any chocolate. No. I recently found a company, and we have to say thank you to Susan for this one because she is the one that tracked these guys <laughs> down. Uh, it is called, and my, there it is, Renee's Twisted Chocolate. Renee's Twisted Chocolate is uh, run by a gentleman by the name of Sydney Hill. And I got a chance to talk to Sydney uh, when I when we got these bars. Mm -hmm. And first of all, I got to tell you, Sydney is he's got this energy that is second to none. He's very passionate. And on his website for uh, Renee's Twisted Chocolates, he talks about that this is, has become his uh, it began as a hobby, but it has become his passion, producing high quality chocolates. Uh, from what I believe the term he used was single source. And as I look at each of these bars. Uh, they come from or are inspired by a specific place. I'm looking forward to talking to him more about this. Uh, he'll be appearing on the show uh, very soon, I hope. Uh, we talked about having him on and he's uh, agreed to do so. And I, I'm excited to talk about more of this with him. Um, Renee's Twisted Chocolates is named after his mother, uh, Renee. And uh, he talks about on his website how she inspires him to make this company not just about chocolate, but about things like love, unity, and family. And so, I mean, I love the guy already. Yeah. And so, uh, I've been doing a lot of talking. I think you want to do some tasting. Yes, please. Tell me what this one says. This one says 50% Ivory Coast milk chocolate. Uh, what do these things say? Uh, the small words say... <laughs> <laughs> Got my glasses. Sorry, I'm old. That's okay. Me too. Love, peace, unity, forgiveness, and family. The things that Sydney <laughs> oh. talked about. Oh, I thought they were maybe like ingredients or something. I mean, they are. They are. But I thought they were physical. Right. Other than cocoa well, ingredients. Those but, are ingredients yeah. for the soul. The ingredients yes. for the chocolate yeah. are on the back. And there's one, two, three, four ingredients organic pure cane sugar organic cocoa butter roasted cocoa nibs i just love that word and organic whole milk powder that's it that's it that's so all it must be good that's a milk chocolate you said yes uh here i have one that says 63 percent boliva uh semi-sweet chocolate and this one again very simply organic pure cane sugar organic cocoa butter and organic roasted cocoa nibs so three ingredients <gasps> um and i love the fact that he includes allergy information on the labels and so forth and so no yeah. dairy. so there's dairy in the milk chocolate no dairy in the semi-sweet in the semi-sweet and then this last one is 75 percent katongo i hope i'm pronouncing that right this one has roasted cocoa nib nibs Organic pure cane sugar and organic cacao butter. Uh, no dairy in this one either. This is a dark chocolate, and I'm excited to try this one because I've had sort of a love hate relationship with dark chocolate. Most but hate. when, <laughs> but when you put love into something. All right, so we're gonna start with the milk chocolate because that's a common flavor that we're probably familiar with, right? Mm -hmm. So look. Oh, I it's love beautiful. The it bar really, is really beautiful. Is. I should have shown it first. It really, but really is. But I don't want to. I didn't want to touch it too much because I don't want to melt it. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, MC Escher would be so proud. Man, we're going to have to talk about me watching the process. But I'm going to watch this going to my mouth. So, mm. clink. Oh, man. In a world where milk chocolate takes so many forms that are common... That is unlike any milk chocolate I've ever tasted. Yeah, it's milk chocolate. It's the familiar flavor, mm -hmm. but there's a richness. Mm -hmm. Deepness. That, yeah, there's a depth to it. That's amazing. That mm -hmm. makes me happy. Mm -hmm. All right, semi sweet. Yes, that's let's do that we, next. We, we go in order. We have uh, and and 
I, again, I, I'll ask to be sure, but these appear to be probably self-printed, the labels, and folded. So a lot of effort goes into mm -hmm. uh, the product. I want to see if that one has a different pattern. Let's see. It's a little darker. And... Mm -hmm. Oh, same pattern. Same but pattern. That's okay. But that's okay. It's still beautiful. Now, what you can't... I don't know if you can see on the video, it's almost like little pyramids, but yeah. then at such an angle, it looks like one of those MC Escher's. It really so does. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Beautiful to look at. The chocolate bar is a work of art. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to take a small piece because we don't want to go crazy. I'll give you the larger piece. I was going to say, he doesn't, he, he's going to be a convert right now. Watch. Semi-sweet. Oh, well, semi-sweet. I meant the dark chocolate, but we'll get there. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. So this would be akin to, I mean, no way comparing. Mm -hmm. But when you buy the chocolate chips to make chocolate chip cookies, mm -hmm. the semi-sweet chocolate chips, that sometimes you, like, you won't even eat them because they're too bitter. Right. There's a, there's, there's a little... I don't know how to describe it, but there is a little hint of bitterness, but it isn't, it, mm -hmm. it makes it better. It's a tang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's not, cause I've had semi-sweet chocolate mm -hmm. and it's almost always put me off this. Mm -hmm. and, and it's funny cause it's moments like this where I, I, if people are watching, I would hate for them to go, well, yeah, what's he going to say? But you know me well, <laughs> you know that, that my reaction to chocolate is either yay or nay. And this is a big yay. Um, that bitter, that, I hope bitter is the it's right word. Tangy. Yeah, it's it's really delicious. Mm -hmm. I could see. I would hate to suggest things for it because I don't want to, uh, in any way, Sydney react and go. Why would he do that with chocolate? Um, but I picture making like some hot chocolate with that. Mm. I don't know why that's what comes to mind. It's delicious. I think it's the depth of it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we come to the. Um, dark chocolate, and I am always willing to try stuff. I've always said I'll taste anything for the show except balut. Sorry, Philippine friends, but dark chocolate again, very beautiful. Why does the semi sweet look darker than the dark? I don't know. Okay, well, when you talk to Sydney, Sydney. We will find out. All I care about is how it's going to taste. Mm -hmm. You've so, taken the bigger piece here. Do you know that? I have to dive off the okay. the deep end. I love dark chocolate. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Again, three distinctly different oh, yeah. chocolate types, obviously, but mm -hmm. chocolate favorite. Ooh, man. That one sort of comes back and taps you on the shoulder and reminds you it's there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This would go with something spicy. Mm. Like make a chocolate spicy. Like a mole? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, man, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm ashamed that... I've not un had dark chocolate this good before now, but mm -hmm. now we can have it whenever we want because Renee's Twisted Chocolates uh, is around. So, Sydney, thank you. Uh, can't wait to have you on the show. Looking forward to that. And please make sure you look them up. You can find them at twistedchocolates.com. You can find them on Facebook. Um, I want to say Instagram, but I'll have to double check and be sure. Whatever information I find, I'll put it in the information on the video. But make sure you find uh, Renee's Twisted Chocolates and follow them and buy their products. They're amazing. Uh, this was just a sample of, of what they have on their website. So uh, great, great stuff. So thank you for joining me for this one. Thank you. I um, like chocolate. Chocolate is life. Uh, with that, we say thank you once again. I appreciate you coming by the show. Uh, please, if you haven't already, click subscribe 
and also the notification bell so you know when these episodes land. Also, Facebook, Instagram, and even TikTok. Just look up A Taste of the Food Life. On Instagram, it's Taste of the Food Life because I couldn't put an uh at the beginning. Uh, but yeah, follow me on those social media platforms and look forward to more exciting episodes because there's a lot of stuff heading your way here in the next few weeks, uh, months, uh, and even this year and further. So uh, with that, we'll remind you with the most important thing, you're awesome, you're amazing, and the world's a better place because you are in it. We'll see you next time on A Taste of the Food Life.